A geotag, or geographical tag, allows you to find your photos by the location where they were taken. If you have a newer camera, you may have a built-in GPS function that lets you keep track of your photos by location. If you do not have this feature, you can still enter in the geotag manually. And that's what we're going to look at doing now. You'll see here on the right hand side we still have the tag and caption pane, and the second thing listed is a geotag. You can see that I have several photos here from a trip I took in Latin America. These photos represent a couple different countries, so I'm going to tag the individual photos so that I can later find them by the country or location where they were taken. First I'd like to show you how to tag one photo. I'm going to select this photo by clicking on it one time, and notice that it now has a bluish tint to the background because it's been selected. I'm then going to come over to the tag and caption pane, and I'm going to find where it says add geotag. If I click on Add Geotag, the computer is going to offer me a list of suggestions of tags I've used in the past. The tag I want to use is not found here, so I'll need to manually type it. These photos were taken in Granada, Nicaragua, so as I type that, the computer is going to offer me a suggestion. I can then click on that suggestion, and then I need to press the Enter key on my keyboard. That's found on the right hand side of the keyboard, and it says Enter. I'm going to press enter one time and that's going to set the tag. I can also tag multiple photos at one time. This time I'm going to click on this picture here one time and you'll notice that it's selected. In order to select the other photos I'm going to use the control key on my keyboard. That's found in the bottom left hand corner of the keyboard. It says CTRL which stands for control. I'm going to hold down the control key and maintaining the control key down I can click anywhere on the second photo, the third, and the other photos that I want to tag. These six photos were all taken in Granada, Nicaragua. Once I have clicked on the last photo, I can let go of the control key, and I can now go over and tag these photos. I'm going to click on Add Geotag, and then I'm going to click on Granada in this list here. I don't actually have to manually type it again, because the computer is suggesting it to me. I'll click on it one time and then I'm going to press the enter key on my keyboard in order to set that. Now that I've successfully tagged all the photos that were taken in Granada, Nicaragua, I'm going to move on so that I can tag some of the photos from the other countries represented in this folder. In order to do so, I need to scroll down so that I can see the rest of the photos. To scroll down, I'll want to line up the arrow on top of this bar here, and using the left click on my mouse, I can hold down the left click and then move the mouse down to scroll down. I'm going to tag all of these photos at one time. I could click on the very first photo to select it, and then I could use the control key on my keyboard. If I hold down control, I could click on the other photos, but I'd like to show you another shortcut for selecting multiple photos at one time. If I select the first photo one time, I can then utilize the shift key on my keyboard. That's in the bottom left hand corner of the keyboard. I can hold down the shift key, and then I can click on the very last photo. That's going to select all of the photos in between the first photo and the last photo. Once I've selected the proper photos, I can then go to the Tag and Caption pane and add the tag. If I click on Add Geotag, I can then type in where these photos were taken. These were taken in the Paten Basin. And as I type that in, the computer is going to suggest an option, and then I can click on that and then press the enter key in order to set that tag. Now that I've successfully tagged these photos, I can click on this tag here, and that's going to show just the photos that were tagged with Paten Basin. Later in this tutorial, we're going to look at using the View tab in order to view photos within a folder so that we can look at those photos that were tagged from Nicaragua.